2020. Who else is glad that's over? Or is it? 2021 has been feeling a lot like 2020 in several areas and aspects of many of our lives. Whether it's your physical, your mental, emotional, your spiritual, financial relationships or contribution, any area of your life may have and probably has been impacted in all the craziness and chaos that happened in 2020. My response to that was, what the hell am I going to do? And I decided that I was going to do a challenge, a challenge for myself and a challenge for other people. And the get up and go challenge was born. So I knew I needed to, to take action. I couldn't just sit and watch what was going on in the world and watch my life crumble and things go by. I had to jump in with both feet, even though I didn't know necessarily what to do, and do something. And my response was to create the Get Up and Go Challenge. A, a free 30 plus day, it's 31 days, Get Up and Go Challenge to incorporate into my life and the lives of the people that do the challenge right along with me, a process, a framework to guarantee that we get better results after any change or challenge that we face than before it. And it worked perfectly in 2020 and it's continuing to work in 2021. We did one in February, we're doing one in April. And this is probably, and not probably, this is the final free 30 plus day challenge, get up and go challenge that I'm gonna do. I've done literally hundreds of challenges before throughout my life, long before the internet existed and I'll continue to do them going forward. But this is the last time I'm gonna do the get up and go challenge. 2020 has changed. We're into 2021. We're just finishing up this month, the first quarter of 2021, which is the first full year of the COVID chaos, I like to call it. And I think a lot of people are feeling that they might know exact, not know exactly what to do, but they're comfortable with the process of I've got this. I know what to do, especially if they've been through the Get Up and Go Challenge. So I want to invite you to join us for this final free 30 plus day challenge. And you're probably thinking, 30 days, that's a long time. Can I really do something every day for 30 days? And what I want to let you know is that we break it down into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I teach you something called the SOAP framework, which is a four-step framework that we can use for absolutely anything in our life. But I like to apply it to any current challenge or change that I'm facing and I've gotten it so it's installed in my subconscious so I don't even have to think about it anymore and that's what the challenge is about that's why it's 30 days is to make sure that you get to practice it with an example from your own life in each area and aspect of your life so that you can install it in your subconscious as well and guarantee that you'll continue to grow and get progress and momentum and the results that you want in the direction that you want to go in, in whatever area of your life that you feel like you need a change or, or a different approach to. Uh, I've been using it for, for literally decades. I didn't ever call it until last year a framework or name it. I didn't name it. I didn't know what I was doing actually. I just was doing it automatically and I'm like, well, how is it that I face changes and challenges? And I faced a lot of changes and challenges in my life and I come out on the other side of it better off than when I when I was hit with that challenge. I think of uh, rheumatoid arthritis and, and health challenges that I've had in my life. I had a sudden cardiac arrest and died, yet I'm still here talking today. How the heck do you come back from a challenge like that? Would it have been really easy to throw in the towel after that event and said, I'm done, I'm not doing business anymore, I'm not gonna work anymore, I'm not gonna do this stuff? Sure it would have, and then I, I could have done that. I probably would have died in the three to six years that they, they statistically say the vast majority of people do after a, a, an event like that, a health event like that. And I said, yeah, no, nah, I'm not done yet. I'm not ready for that. What's next? What do I need to do to, to get up and go and change and fix the things that are broken in my life? And I don't know that I said get up and go, but I probably did because get up and go is a, a reminder that I play in my head a lot to get myself moving, to get going. So I just want to invite you to, to join us April 1st through May 1st. I know starting on April Fool's Day, kind of strange, but it, it's not a joke. It's, it's definitely not a joke. And the videos every day, I will pop on, do a 10 minute or less lesson. I am committed to this, this last one. This is actually our seventh 30 plus day get up and go challenge. Done more than, than seven, but as far as 30 days go, uh, 30 seems to be the sweet spot for this particular uh, transformation the, the, because we want it to stick, right? We want to put things into our life that work on autopilot so we don't have to think about them all the time. It's kind of like breathing and blinking. Can you imagine how cumbersome your life would be if you had to think about and remind yourself to breathe or to blink or if you even had to remind yourself to think all the time? Now, sometimes we do need to remind ourselves to think, 
on a conscious level and make decisions and choices based on that. But we'll talk about that in the challenge. How do you make that easy and automatic? I'll share 30 plus tools with you that I've used throughout my life to make my life work, to make it easier. Because like everybody else, I've had a you know, raised a family, been a business owner, been in corporate America, you know, had lots of different hats I had to wear simultaneously. And in order to do that, in order to make the, our lives work, we have to have tools and skills and, and practice doing that. And that's what this challenge is all about. So join us on the Get Up and Go Challenge page, Facebook, doing it in Facebook. We also have a private group for more uh, detail, more intimate discussion. We also in that have, um, they're called guides now, but they used to be units in Facebook where all of the previous challenges are stored and housed. And you can go there anytime, I say right now, if you're curious, and listen to some of those. You can search by topic. You can search by uh, whatever you want, any keyword or something that you want, that Facebook private group, and you can find previous lessons, previous videos. And you can get a feel for what it's about. I guarantee that if you're struggling at all in any area of your life, you know, maybe you're like me and in in uh, the last year you've put on a few pounds or you've you've slipped in a couple of your good habits this will help with that maybe you've lost your job or your business is shut down and you're freaking out because you're not sure what to do to support your family this will help with that maybe your relationships since we spent so much time together are a little bit rockier than you wanted because your communication isn't as, as good as as it should be I think most relationship issues come down to communication issues and not understanding what one another are saying. We think we're great communicators, we think we're great listeners, but chances are we're not as good at it as we think we are. So I am excited to do this challenge. I didn't do it in March, I didn't do it in January, and I found both in January and in March of this year, I'm feeling a sense of something's missing there's some loss and that's why going forward I'm going to tweak and change and do something different but I'll always be doing challenges I'll always be coaching and helping people because it's fun for me and we do the things that we love to do because they're fun and they make us feel like we're making a positive difference and a contribution to the world so join us April 1st right here in the get up and go challenge page and I'll also have it in the get up and go challenge group of course in the units will be unit 10 so look for it there have an awesome day. If you have any questions or I can help you in any way, if you're wondering, will this be for me? Is this right for me? Just ask in the comments below or direct message me, Sharon Horn Elstrom. And of course, be with you tomorrow for another preliminary introduction to what we're going to be doing beginning April 1st, Wednesday, right here. Take care. Bye. Get up and go.